How do we bend a box offset? Let's get into it. Now, before we begin, I wanna tell you guys about the Milwaukee Grid program. Milwaukee sponsored this, so thank you so much, Milwaukee Tools. The Grid program is really cool. It's actually a apprentice support program, really. So once you get into an electrical pr apprenticeship, uh, Milwaukee Grid is a program that you can go to their website, sign up for the Grid program. And then once you log in, there's a whole bunch of different resources, multiple different trades, there's videos, uh, things about tools, there's all kinds of really cool stuff in there. If you're interested at all, you're a brand new apprentice and you wanna learn a little bit more about your craft and have some resources, there's a link in the description below. All right, so out in the field, every once in a while, we run across something uh, we have to do called a box offset. So a box offset is essentially uh, bending a piece of conduit in a way, kind of making an S curve on it uh, to get into something that is raised. So if you look right here, uh, we've got this box and this piece of conduit would not actually go into that hole. We would need to raise it a little bit but we're not just gonna raise it like that because then we won't be able to attach a strap because there's a gap back here. So if there's a piece of wood or something run behind here, we can't strap that down. So we still need the rest of the conduit to be down, but we need to bend this conduit up so that we can get a connector on that thing and get it in the right spot. So this is how we would do a box offset. Now the first thing that we're gonna do is line the end of the bender up with the end of the conduit. We stick it in the shoe and make sure that the fronts are aligned. Once they're aligned, what we're gonna do is take our foot and step on the back of the shoe, but we're gonna step directly down. We're not just gonna pull back on this handle. We gotta step down and pull back on the handle. If we were to not step down and just bend the back of the handle, this whole conduit would start to warp and bend way back here, and that's not what we want. We want this bend to be local to right here. So I'm gonna take my shoe, step on it, pull on the handle a little bit, and boom, just kick it a little bit. Not very much, you see like the handle just barely moved at all. Then we're gonna take and flip it over 180 degrees and make sure that it's straight. We don't want this thing kicked off to the side like that. You know, you can see that we wouldn't be bending it the right direction. So we want to make an S with this. So since we bent the first one up, we need to flip it 180 degrees and come back. It doesn't really matter where you come back. If you were to come way back like this, you would just have a lot of length here. So it's really just a personal preference, but I like to do mine really close. So I usually bend one, back it up about, I don't know, maybe about two inches from where my first bend was, right here. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go and just kick. That's it, very little, you know? You didn't see me do too much bending because we don't need that much. We really just need enough to get over uh, this little obstruction. So once we put it up there, boom, we see it's perfect. So now we're just gonna take our connector, we're gonna put the connector on the top of this, and we wanna make sure that the connector is facing us. We don't wanna put it like way off to the side or something like that. stick it in there and last thing that we do is we take our lock ring and we put it on the threads get it finger tight and we're gonna take a screwdriver tighten it up now they do make little wrenches and things that stick in here that you could use instead of that. Um, I'm just a fan of using my screwdriver. That's just the way that I do it. You can do it however you want. All right, so you can see that that works on the ground, right? So we've got that little bit of a curve right here. Everything else is touching the ground. The box is touching the ground. So if we were to put this up on a wall, you can see right here, it's all the way up against the wall. There's no gap the whole way curves up a little bit, the box, the back of the box is flush right there, so we can put two screws in that and secure it to the wall. So that is a box offset. 
All right, my friend, that was pretty easy. Uh, box offsets, sometimes there are actual benders that you can use if your company has one, where you literally just put the conduit in, you step on it, and it does the whole offset for you. Um, just be careful when you're doing them. You don't wanna get like a dog leg, which is what we would say if you did one straight bend and one that's kind of crooked and off to the side a little bit, that's not good. Um, just make sure that you do everything straight. Always do your best work. If you're curious a little bit more about conduit bending, I have a video right here that you can watch. Um, this is is a whole bunch of different things, how to bend 90s, how to bend offsets, all kinds of stuff. Uh, and if you're more curious about like conduit fill, how many conductors can we put in a piece of conduit, watch this video right here, it's pretty rad. Thank you guys so much, love you crazy people, I'll see you in the next one.